So you can probably tell from the thumbnail that today is our long run test of the Wild Horse 8 trail running shoe from Nike. But today's gonna to be a long run test with a difference because we are gonna be taking part in the brilliant KVK up here in Cornwall. So it is 15 miles on the route with a thousand meters of elevation. A super challenging route, but we've got some stunning weather, blue sky and sunshine. So let's get ready, let's get the race numbers on and let's give these a proper testing. Okay, so the numbers are on, we're all ready to run and it's 20 minutes to go until go time. Slightly different variant of the race this time round. So if you've seen it on the channel before, normally we'd start off down in Driftwood Spars and you'd run up a big hill to start with. The race has moved to Perrinporth Airfield and you can tell by all the flags behind me, Salomon have got involved. So they're here sponsoring the race. They've got shoe demos, lots of great prizes to give away to the podium finishers. So like I say, 20 minutes to go, and then we're gonna get out on this epic route, and we're gonna review the Wild Horse 8 as we go. coastal path of Cornwall. Feels weird starting at a different location having run it so many times, but the uh, guys at the front are heading towards the coast path. It's gonna be a good day. One of the highlights of the year, this race. Mega race on some amazing trails. A few hills thrown in for good measure, but such good fun. Just gotta get my bearings. Feels weird starting up here. If you need a hand, I am here for you. Considering the weather we've had lately in Cornwall, we couldn't ask for better conditions than this. Blue sky, hardly any wind at all. And it's this kind of weather you want to see the KBK route in. Normally starting down in Driftwood, you literally go straight into a big hill. So very different this time. We're across the airfield, onto the tarmac, downhill, down to the coast path, and then we'll get our first climb in the legs. But yeah, such an odd experience running the race a different way around. So you might just be able to see out there in the distance, you've got the front runners going up the first big climb and onto the coast path. It's worth the climb though, because it's a mega view when you get to the top. If the end is near, just know that I got you. I'm your armor when things get tough. No, I got you back. You're so up we go, up the first climb. We'll, uh, we'll try and run as much of the first loop as we can. <laughs> there might be a little bit of walking uh, involved on the second one, maybe. It always catches up with this route. And obviously we want to test the shoe out thoroughly. So we got lots of rocky trails, got some tarmac sections. Gonna have a bit of mud to deal with when we go across the fields. So it really will be a thorough testing for the Wild Horse 8. And I don't know why I always talk on camera when I'm running up the hill. If the end is near, just know that I got you. I'm your armor when things get tough. So we bumped into Paul. It's his first run of the KVK. How are you feeling so far, mate? Uh, fairly good considering that first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't quite expecting downhill then. Up no. Straight away. <laughs> Normally it's uphill, yeah. So it's a bit yeah. weird running it uh, a different way this year, but. But yeah, feeling yeah. pretty good so far. You'll love it, mate. On a day like today, <laughs> you can't beat it. Just save, save a little bit of energy for that second loop, mate. Yeah. Have a good one, Paul. So that's it, down that hill. Now we're back to where we normally started in the past years of the race. So this is the big hill, big climb, bit of tarmac. Then we hit the trail and we're working our way up to the beacon. But the shoe is performing good so far. I haven't actually run in it since we did that initial first impressions video. And 
just feels super comfy. Really good level of cushioning. Fits my foot shape really well. And good levels of traction on the loose stuff going up that hill. So yeah, big thumbs up so far. But we are, what, only a couple of miles into the race. So long way to go. So I bumped into Paul. <laughs> Paul is a big follower of the channel, supported us from day one. Absolutely. And what's just happened, Paul? Yeah. What have you had done? Big hip operation, Lloyd. Yeah. yeah Full replacement? Uh, resurfacing. Resurfacing. So yeah. how about that? This guy, resurfaced hip. He's been pulling his air out for the last year or so. <laughs> not being able to run. Yeah. And this is his first race back. Exactly. Awesome, mate. Hey. <laughs> well done. Come on. Go steady, though, yeah? Absolutely. Nothing too silly. Nope. Easing gently. Yep. But well done, Thanks, mate. Lloyd. Thanks, Lloyd. Hey, you see, you know, everything's possible. <laughs> you should never give up on what you enjoy. Well done, mate. Okay, that's Beacon Summit number one, down the other side, but the views up here are amazing. Look at it! What an epic place, man. If you've never, well done fella. That way, that way. If you've never done the KVK before, look what you're missing out on, on a lovely blue sky day like this. Mega views, man, and the support is awesome. Have a good day, mate. Yeah. Oh my God! <laughs> Cheers, mate! There we go! Cheers mate, well done fella, oh beautiful. Save me a bit for the second loop, yeah? Now for the fun bit. We've done the hard work, now we're going down. Quite technical, so you gotta keep your wits about you, but awesome descent. Unfortunately it is short lived because you then turn around and you come back over the beacon again, but never mind. I'm going to touch the lucky leprechaun. Hey, up, boy. I'm sure he's going to bring me good luck for the race. <laughs> Absolutely. Cheers, cheers yeah. leprechaun. Yeah. Cheers, Richie. Yeah. <laughs> that was Richie. He filmed on the channel once. Richie Cam, you remember? We ran it as a team one year and he took the camera for the second loop. Okay, we got what we wanted. Nice sheltered bit of trail here. So we got some mud to run through. So we can give that outsole traction a thorough testing because that has always been the downside to Nike trail shoes. But we're gonna have hopefully some slippy rock as well. So we will fully test that outsole performance out with a bit of luck. Oh, watch me head. I don't know, Royal Mail, eh? Cheers, mate. <laughs> Thanks, mate. I don't know, the problems I have with Royal Mail, I never thought I'd have one out on a race course. I don't know. So we're at the first checkpoint. We're gonna stop, grab a drink. Even though oh, we've got the world famous flat down. You don't just get it at the Serpent Trail, you get it at the KBK. This lady is responsible for it, Tom's mum. Right, drink of water. Yeah. Got to grab a bit of flapjack because it is the best flapjack in the world. It's like rocket fuel. And then we're off up to Beacon. Thanks guys. Cheers. See you next time round. Enjoying it so far? Um, scenic, it's nice. Yeah, you've run it before? No, I never. Awesome. It's a bit yeah. more heavier than park run, isn't it? And you're doing, you're doing solo? Relay. Relay. Ah, you nearly cracked it, mate. <laughs> Hold on, fella. Thank you. Enjoy the views. Okay, so that is the second beacon descent complete. Nice technical running down there again. Awesome descent. And then you pick up a bit of the hard stuff for a while. Not too long, but open the legs up. Ran it quite fast and the Wild Horse 8 really does perform well on the road. You know, super comfy React Midsole. 
feels like he's giving you lots of back, but I still felt connected on the technical descent. So yeah, still going really well. into the finishing funnel of the first lap. Cowbell's ringing across the line. We're gonna uh, top up with a bit of water. We are gonna 124, so not bad considering we're cruising. Top up with some water. We're gonna get a gel down as well because it's quite a warm day. So let's get the bowl sorted out and then we'll crack on. Nice, pleasant, got some coke, topped up the bottles, had a gel, and we are off on loop two. Feeling good? All right, mate? So going past us there up the hill on his way to the finish was the guy in first place. <laughs> way ahead man, fly it. All right, time to walk up this big hill. Whew. So through that cross point at Driftwood for the second time, and we are getting ever closer to the finish. I'm feeling pretty good so far. I don't want to tempt fate, but energy levels are high. I think uh, Reading Half Marathon is converted me I think I've gone over to the dark side when we pick up any road running becomes quite easy legs feel good or even on the descent so I'm turning them over quick and pushing hard but legs do feel a bit heavy on the ups but that's all right because we can walk and take in the views and just love life cheers Neil thanks mate Beacon Summit, number three. We're gonna head down, we're gonna come up for the last time, and then that is all the beacons done. And the support is awesome as ever up here, man. You get a real lift, lots of cowbells, lots of people cheering you on, and then we're going down. Whoop, whoop. This is the fun bit. Cheers, mate. Tick off the beacon for the fourth and last time. <laughs> we are done. Come on. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Down we go. Not many hills left now. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hey, last 
our time into driftwood up the steps cheers guys thank you up the big old steps so we get up this climb drop down and then we got them big old steps chapel Port, which are super tough legs are definitely starting to feel it now heavy on the climbs but that's to be expected we got the other gel in so hopefully that'll give me a bit of a lift but the old nike wild horse eight still performing really good Guys, thank you. Your channel. Awesome, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> that is without doubt the hardest climb on the route, hands down. I know it's close to the finish, so we're all knackered, but it's just those big old corner steps, huh? Get the old quads burning and i had a few twinges of cramp in my calf so i had to go really steady but that's pretty much it we've just got flat running all the way to that finish line so dan has just moved to cornwall from canada absolutely and he's a, a, a follower of the channel which is awesome absolutely. Great channel. First experience of the KVK. What do you think, mate? Fantastic. It's really an epic, yeah. epic route, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Tough. Yeah, it's not bad, you know? Yeah. It's te more technical than I thought. Yeah, yeah. The road sections I can do. Yeah, 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 yeah. I won't lie, those last two climbs have been tough. Not a lot left in the tank. And the old calves were spasming him up in big steps, but we made it, we're on the hard stuff. Flat running, and I feel like I've got a bit of energy. So a very different feeling to Reading Half Marathon. Okay, let's push on. Let's get this finished. Still smiling. Yeah, you are. Well done, mate. Good, mate. <laughs> awesome. We done it. We cracked it. Awesome. Thanks, mate. We've done it. Oh, thanks, Laura. Well done. Thank you. Well done, Dan. Yeah, thank you. Top effort, mate. Right, yeah. Pleasure to Welcome to Cornwall. Thank you. Right, we made it across the finish line in one piece. That uh, lower leg issue I was having was fine. All the way around, no problems. We have got our awesome KVK medal. We're going to cheer a few people in. We're going to wait for Liga. And we've actually got to hand out some prizes because Run For Adventure is one of the sponsors uh, of the event. But that is the KVK done. <laughs> How did you find them last steps, mate? It was good fun. Absolutely. Enjoy them? Unbelievable. <laughs> I was crawling up them. I think everybody was. <laughs>
Okay, so that is the race done. We're taking the flags down, giving out all the prizes. Liga, finish the race. Yep. Loving lives. <laughs> we, uh, we both struggled, if we're honest. It was tough up them last few climbs, but we made it. We got our cowbell medals to prove it. So we're gonna get changed. We're gonna grab a coffee because we definitely need some caffeine. And then we're gonna head back to the studio and we'll give you a conclusion of how the Wild Horse 8 ran out on the KVK route. Well, what an incredible morning we have had at the KVK and how lucky were we with that stunning weather. I think when the weather's like that down here in Cornwall, you'll struggle to find a more spectacular race route, that's for sure. Just want to say a massive thanks to Tom and Nikki from Freedom Racing and their incredible team of marshals. They were so supportive as we made our way around the route and it really did help when I was struggling up those last two big climbs on that second loop. It made all the difference. And also, I wanna thank you guys as well. Lots of you came up at the beginning of the race, on the route and at the end to have a chat. So much positivity about the channel. So thanks for the feedback, guys, and thanks for coming up and saying hello. But let's get back to one of the main reasons that we ran the KVK today, and that was to put the Wild Horse 8 trail running shoe from Nike through a proper testing on a challenging long run. And I really think we achieved that in today's race. And I also think that the shoes passed with flying colors. It really did perform well out there. And at last we've got a Nike trail running shoe that hasn't left me feeling a little bit let down. Uh, it really did handle everything that that challenging route threw at it today with ease. You can see from the footage there that the KVK route is predominantly inland trails with some real good helping of stunning Cornish coast path, but there's also some longer sections of tarmac. And some of those sections are very, very steep descents as well. And the plan for me today was to take my time going up the hills, conserve a bit of energy, and then bomb down the other side. And that is exactly what I did. And this React midsole in these was brilliant. So comfortable underfoot, but it also felt like it was soaking up all that impact when I was running fast down those steep descents on the tarmac so definitely a trail running shoe that can cross over lots of different types of terrain and soak up long sections of road we had loose gravelly trail we had rocky trails you can see from the state of the shoe we also had some short sections of muddy trail and that outsole performed well on all of the above i had no issues when it comes down to grip or traction at all out on the route and even though that Nike React midsole is quite cushioned. I still felt nice and connected to the trails underfoot when I picked up the more rocky, uneven technical sections. So all in all, the Wild Horse 8s from Nike aced the long run test on pretty much every front. When I crossed the finish line, my feet felt really good. I can't say the same about my legs, but my feet felt great. So no rubbing, no irritation, and definitely no blisters. The only two things I would mention is, towards the end of the route, I'd say in the last mile maybe, my feet did start to warm up a bit. Uh, they weren't super hot, and like I said, the weather was pretty tropical out there, and probably the first proper hot day we've had in the UK, so we're not really acclimatized to it. But they did start to get a bit warm towards the end, and also, maybe the shoe could do with losing you know 20 grams not that i thought it was heavy once out there on the route but i think if the shoe could lose 20 grams it would just perform even better there you have it folks a nike trail shoe that has performed well on uk trail conditions and a nike trail shoe that i've really enjoyed running in and i can see myself spending a lot more time in these as we work our way through summer and who would have thought it I never thought I would say those words on the channel. So that is a wrap when it comes to the long run test on the Nike Wild Horse 8s. Really hope you enjoyed the video. I also hope you enjoyed the spectacular views out on the KVK route. I've left a link in the description below for the trail shoes and for Freedom Racing who put the event on. And if you've never run any of their races, they are definitely worth checking out. Not only are most of them on absolutely epic routes, but they're also very welcoming and there's always a very special sort of atmosphere at their races. So like I say, there's a link in the description below, definitely worth checking out. I'd also love to hear from you guys. So if you have been running in the new Wild Horse 8s, get in the comments below, let us know all about how it's performing for you. But until next time guys, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting the channel, it's really appreciated. We'll be back here very, very soon. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. Oh my god, that was a close call. 
was getting some b-roll going over the stile there stepped over and i didn't see this electric fence i almost electrocuted myself on camera that'll make good content might put a spring in my step <laughs> 